Snacking queues by anxious students are growing as time to register runs out. We believe that education is supposed to be for free. A significant amount of students continue to be barred from registering, mostly due to financial constraints. We have three batches of students, so we have students who are under NESFIRS, and then we have students who we call them the missing middle, so students who do not qualify for NESFIRS but also cannot afford the institution. And then we also just have students who are just funded or do not have funding. In some institutions, more than 80% of students have enrolled with the remaining 20% gripped by financial difficulties. Oh, I wouldn't like to generalize, but we would probably safely assume that if a student hasn't yet registered and it's not debt, it means that they probably have chosen not to come back to university this year. Financial exclusions has sparked national protests in recent years. But former TUT President Kiamwe Tsumasike believes more should be done to end this chaos. I think I must say it categorically clear that a protest action is always the last alternative uh, because we always advocate for a smooth uh, registration process uh, in the beginning of the academic year. The struggle to register continues to frustrate students. Theodore Mashele, Johannesburg.